water cycle. Water is very, very important to all of us, as all living things depend on clean supply of water. As we know, water covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface. The heat energy from the sun causes some of the water to evaporate from the surface of oceans, lakes and rivers, and from plants as well. When water evaporates, it changes from liquid to gas. This water vapor rises and cools, and then condenses back into water to form clouds. When water molecules in clouds collect into big enough drops, they fall as rain or snow, depending on the temperature. This runs into rivers and lakes, and can sometimes soak into underground layers of rock. Eventually, the water returns to the oceans to complete the cycle. Let's see the water cycle. First, we see the rain on the left, and on the right, we see the formation of clouds by the process of evaporation. This process of constant cycling of water from land to air and back again is called water cycle. It's been going on for billions of years.